Okay, next one is a very, very, very basic car rig. Um, I just wanted to steer the front wheels and make them rotate manually and the same for the back wheels. And if I move the car body, the whole car should move, including the wheels, of course. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use a small script, which is very basic script, but it does resizing of dummies. So if you make a dummy, something like this, you should know that there's no setting. So this is the size you created it and you shouldn't go scaling it up, which is totally wrong because it can mess up your uh, animation later on or your rigging later on. So if you do a dummy and you go to script spot, there is a script called dummy resizer, dummy resizer. So just load it, Brad Noble, that's the place where you can download it and you have to run it down here. Brad's dummy resizer. Once you've done that, you need to go to your customized UI and put it in some kind of menu or wherever you want to put it. I already did that. I put it in this one, in my tools menu. There's the dummy resizer. Looks like this and I don't want to scale. I just want to see how big it is. So this is the size. Now if I want to do, let's say 20, 10, 20 again. I say resize, it gets resized and it doesn't get scaled. So it actually resizes the dummy as it should. So that's why I'm using this one. Um, what we need is we need a dummy for steering. We need a dummy for the front wheels. We need a dummy for the back wheels and a dummy for the main body. So let's make a couple of dummies. Um, this one needs to be copied for the front wheels, the back wheels and the car body. So now I need to align those. Done. Align this one to the front wheels. Done. Align this one to the body. So it's there and I'll just gently take it out. So what I'll do is I'll resize this one. So if I do, let's see what I have to do. Let's make it 10 in width. So like this one. And then we make it 10 in height. And we'll make it 50 in length. So go, there you go. So now it's easier because it doesn't matter which side of the car I'm at, I can easily grab it. I'll do the same with these. So resize this one and I'll do the same with this one, resize it and I'll put it, align it to the car, not in those directions, just in the X direction. Hit OK. And now you have the dummy on both sides and actually just using one dummy. So let me do the same with this one, align it down here, X, done, finished. All right, uh, for steering, we need this one, which has to be, of course, in the center of the car. So I'll put it by eyesight down there and make sure that uh, this one is set to zero so it's aligned with the body of the car. Now I need front wheels to look at this one so this one can steer it, so animation, Constraint, look at, down there. Gets all wacky, but we have the option, of course, keep initial offset. So now it's properly aligned. So I'll do the same with this wheel. Animation, constraint, look at, this one. Same thing, keep initial, and test. See if it works. Yep, it does. So that's one. Next thing I need to do is to make sure that these wheels are oriented with the dummy, so when I turn the dummy, the wheel should follow. So this one needs to be oriented to that one. So animation, again a constraint, this one, the orientation on this. And very important because it is already, let's say, used for the steering, put it in local mode, otherwise it doesn't steer anymore. So do the same for this one, that animation, constraint, orientation and as you can see now it's very useful that you have this one big dummy put it in local again let's test it so if all is well it should still be able to steer it does and if I take the dummy and rotate it because it's a manual object you see it's still running and steering so that's one next thing we need to do is very simply Grab the wheels and link it to the dummy. So here we go. 
link this one to the dummy now if I rotate this one you see the back wheels just rotating as well of course and so finally I need to connect the dummies so dummy dummy um, make sure they're connected to the rig connect the rig to the main dummy and if I now move this probably the wheels will stay flat yep of course because I still need to link the wheels as well so link the wheels here we go I'll link them down there let's test move yep steer yep this one rotate yep this one rotate yep so all is done and rigged now so you see it's a very simple setup you have a manual control now over this car you can make sure that the wheels are turning and the wheels are steering this one is very useful for resizing the dummies without scaling them which is very important because it will mess up your animation or your rigging sooner or later if you start scaling stuff so that's basically it um, so now if you want to do a very simple thing as well you need to select the wheels ask for the properties object properties oh sorry uh, object properties there it is make sure that this one is off show frozen in gray and now you can freeze the selection means you can't select the car anymore but you still can collect all the wheels and the stuff down here so that's it basic rig very basic very useful script dummy resizer look at it for script swap and say thank you to brad noble for making this for us okay that's it done